Okay, so let's talk about how to make a clip seamless, even when it's not necessarily seamless content to begin with. You can make this work for almost any clip, and it doesn't matter what video editing tool you use to create it within. Let me show you how. Let's dive in. So on the timeline now, we've got our clip. And while this inherently loops, let's make it so it doesn't loop. So now if you look at it, there's the end frame, and here's the beginning frame. So if you look at it, we can even go more dramatic. Take a look at that. So there's our end frame. Here's our beginning frame. So now you can clearly look at it and see it does not loop and match. So how do we fix that? Well, it's very simple. Pick the actual frame where you want to have control over the loop and make it loop. It can be anywhere in this clip because it's going to instantly be a seamless loop point no matter where you pick. Cut that and splice that at that mark. Now, next what you want to do is take this. This now becomes the starting point and this becomes the end point. So you move it like that. That's how you get your seamless loop point. We can delete that extra space. And now if you were to look at the beginning and then look at the end, I'll go back to the beginning so you can compare it. Seamless. Now, what we have to look at next is this point right here, because that obviously is a jump. This is where we get to craft and specify how to make it look like it's a looping point, even though that's not the true seamless loop point. So the way we do that is by adding a transition, a dissolve. And notice, because this was the original beginning of the clip, I can only add material from where we cut before. So if I want to have this more centered on that transition, I need to trim some of this video here and then just delete that gap. And now when I apply my transition effect, I can do it more seamlessly by having it cross between the two clips. And I've added more time to be able to do that. And you can see that that cleans it up a little bit. It's less abrupt. And if I were to turn on the looping tool here, you'll see that it's going to seamlessly loop. There's your loop point. It looks really good. This is where we manually made it loop. And even that is pretty smooth. Again, if it's not looping material to begin with, it's not going to be 100%, but you have direct control and where you identify the loop point itself will be seamless for your software or hardware. And from there, all you have to do is export it, and you have yourself a looping video.